staff and students here are in mourning today. As a counselor and psychologist, primarily for veterans, Jennifer Gonzalez spent three days a week working here at Napa Valley College. The other two, including Fridays, last Friday, she worked up at the home in Yonkville. She had just announced um, last or last week that, that she was she was pregnant. Lynette Cortez works side by side with psychologist Jennifer Gonzalez here at the Veterans Service Center at Napa Valley College. She really just wanted the best for for, for veterans and from everyone that she met with. She made me better um, at my job. Really, she just was a great person that just wanted the best for everyone. Gonzalez's co-workers have set up a memorial in her honor in the campus veterans center where students and staff can write their own tributes to the vibrant young psychologist. He's so sweet. What's his name? Aaron. Aaron. Beyond that, the larger healing effort has begun, including a comfort dog, Aaron, a golden retriever trained to bring some peace where there is pain. People liked her. She was a very agreeable, enjoyable person. College Police Chief Kenneth Arnold knew both Gonzalez and Pathway Executive Director Christine Lober. On Friday when you're when when we're hearing this happen and then we're hearing the names, it was very impactful. I mean we we realized that we were you know, that there was a, a tie to the college, and these were people that we knew personally. My name's Christine Lober. Here is Lober making a presentation to the College Board of Trustees. At one point, she talks passionately about trying to help veterans with PTSD. As a program, we don't want to just minimize symptoms. We're not saying like, oh, you have PTSD, let's look at your symptoms, and then let's minimize that, and then you're on your own. Those who knew both women say their work will continue at Napa College. If we didn't need to work and we weren't getting paid for this, we would still be doing it. I mean, it's just a matter of, of heart for us. In Napa, Laura Anthony, ABC 7 News.